So how did you make it through the first year? So um, I got laid off in September of 2010. And um, by then I was pretty tired of corporate whatever. I, I don't want to call it corporate culture because I've been in some uh, positive corporate, corporate cultures. But it seemed like um, the jobs I wanted to keep were the jobs where they were um, irresponsible with their money or something and laid me off. And the jobs that I was trying to leave or left – um, because I couldn't take it anymore, were the ones that uh, did everything from begging me to stay to giving me a guilt trip to stay. So anyway, um, I started looking for another job, but I was being pretty picky, and at the same time I picked up a client. Um, it was It's a local dev shop here. Um, and initially, I, I, I bid what I now know is way low. It's less than half of my current rate. I think um, we've all done that when you were just getting out. <laughs> yeah. And I worked I worked for them for a few months. Um, and then I picked up another client. And, uh, you know, um, I bid them quite a bit more. And I worked for them for about a year. And I, I started picking up other clients. Um, the, the way that it worked out was some of the clients came in from the users group. So the local users group really kind of paid off that way. Um, and then the other... Um, the other thing that really helped was that I had teachmetocode.com and and things like that that I was doing at the time and people were coming to me and finding me that way. I also had a podcast at the time called Rails Coach. Um, I may or may not bring that back. I'm not sure. I keep trying to decide. But uh, I had a few people call me from that and then basically say, look, I don't want you to coach me. I just want you to build it. And so by, you know... Um, I, I got a severance from the, the job I got laid off from. And by the time I had to either decide to take a job or go freelance and, and have enough work to pay the bills, I had enough work to pay the bills. And so I just didn't take the job. I had a job offer and I didn't take it. So so that's how that worked out. And um, yeah, it's it's not been terribly difficult to um, to keep those or to find work after that. So and And most of it really just ties into the fact that it's, it's easy to uh, if if people know who you are, then then it's pretty easy to find work. And if you have a platform of some kind, then you just let it. You don't even let it leak out. You just let people know that you're available for hire. And uh, I've done that a few times on my various podcasts, and people just oh well, if you're available, I want to hire you. But a lot of people assume, I guess, when you have a, a large platform that you're not available. Um, and uh, sometimes you are, and sometimes you're not. But yeah, 